Have you been thinking of starting a smoothie business and you don't know how to go about it? Watch this video to the end. In this video, I'll be letting us know how profitable is a smoothie business and the step-by-step -step guide on how to start a smoothie business. Also in this video, I'll be teaching us different ways we can increase profit in this business. We all know 2004 we have to make money and we know this YouTube channel is about making money. Let's move on to the step-by-step -step guide on how to start a smoothie business. The first step here is to write a business plan. So is it important to write a business plan? Yes. I'll tell you this. With over five years of experience in consulting and also in finance, I will tell you that business plans are very, very important if you want to start a business. Now, if you don't know how to write a business plan, you can hire a professional or a consultant to write it for you. Now, in case you don't know, here are some things that would help you when you have a business plan. Number one, when you have a business plan, you would realize the capital you need to start your smoothie business. No matter how big the capital is, no matter how small the capital is, your business plan will let you know how much you exactly need. So you don't overspend and you don't underspend in starting the business. Number two, your business plan will let you know how you're going to spend the capital. It will let you know how much you would spend on equipment. It will let you know how much you would spend on ingredients. It will let you know how much you will spend on advertisement. It will let you know how much you will spend on minor things like packaging and more. Now, after you're done writing your business plan, the next step, of course, is to get your required capital. Now, your business plan will let you know the required capital you need to start. However, if you are looking at how much exactly can I use to start this business, if you have a minimum of 400,000 to 500,000 Naira, you can start the business. This is because the most important things you need, this money can be used to buy them. You can start and as time goes by, you can increase the capital or invest more into the business. Now, the next step now is to get the required capital. How much is needed has been known, but how can I get this money? There are a few ways you can get capital to start your business. Number one is the money you have saved up yourself. You can't tell me you want to go into a business and you don't have money that you have to invest into the business let's say you even have someone that wants to invest into the business the investor will first ask you how much do you have with you know that <laughs> i want to start this business uncle uh, i don't mind if you can help me with so, so money your uncle will ask you okay you want five hundred thousand to start your small day business right how much do you have so that I can add to it? If you don't have anything to add to it, this will not encourage whoever is investing into the business. So the second way you can get capital for this business is to ask family and friends. There are people who trust you with money. They know that mm -mm, if I borrow Bola this money, or if I give Kendi this money, if I give Chukwemeka or Azan this money, they would use it well. It is what they told me that they will use the money for. They will use the money for. So I will give it to them. And I don't mind. I could either leave the money with them if I see that they are serious with the business and they are making profit or they could pay the money on installment. So if you are really serious with money, you can get someone, a family or a friend that would invest. Approach any of these big uncles or big fathers or somebody that, you know, believes in you and tell them. When you show them, see, the quickest way to impress them is just show them your business plan 
and show them how much capital you already have that will motivate them to invest in the business now the next step is to buy your equipment and ingredient if you're starting this business the equipment you'll be using are very important you cannot say you want to start this business and the main equipment you need which is like your juicer or your fruit extractor is not good enough it's a substandard one now i'm not saying it's a must you buy a new juicer or a new fruit extractor there are good products in the market that are not expensive or a token book product you can simply go for those ones aside from that there are other equipment needed also for your ingredient you know that you are dealing with fruits and you know you are dealing with vegetables so it is best for you to buy these fruit and vegetables fresh i know due to the power condition in africa nigeria especially there is no 24 hours electricity so you might want to think of storing your fruit in a place where there is you know hair going out and coming in this is to make sure that the fruit retain its quality at least for maximum of five or seven days before the quality begins to reduce now how do you buy your ingredients and when i mean your ingredient i mean your fruit and vegetables there are markets where they sell these fruits wholesale there are markets where they sell this food these fruits at minimum prices you can visit this market and buy everything you want when you are buying your fruit and veggies wholesale it reduces the cost of producing your fruit juice which at the end increases the profit yeah so go that route so that you can increase the profit in your smoothie business without doing too much yeah this is one of the secret most smoothie or juice business owners do now after doing that your next step is to rent a shop if you know you have capital set aside to rent a shop this step is for you but if you know you're starting at home this step is not for you there are factors to consider when renting a shop for your smoothie business this is to make sure that your smoothie business easily makes sales and profit one when you're renting your shop make sure your shop is at a location that can be easily seen please <laughs> avoid renting a shop at a cold desert road or a closed road if it is possible make sure your shop is facing a main road also try as much as possible to get a big banner that would attract passers-by that there is a smoothie business here three make sure your smoothies are cold africa especially nigeria is a hot country one way you can attract customers to your smoothie business is when your drinks are cold yes when everybody is not having enough power to you know chill their drinks you can simply get ice blocks to chill your smoothies and don't also forget there are no preservatives in these drinks which means that you would need to keep them cold very cold to preserve its vitamins and minerals and the last step here is to advertise and sell your smoothie now the quickest way to make sales when starting this business is to sell to family and friends i said this earlier so advertise your business don't only advertise in your area also if it is possible get a graphic artist get a photographer let them do a good banner for you and you can use this banner to advertise your smoothie on instagram and facebook now the last step which i promised you guys first of all if you have watched this video to this part and if you enjoyed the advice i've been giving so far please like the video and also 
share the video so the last part how do you increase profits if you're seriously thinking about increasing profit in your smoothie business you have to think beyond your smoothie business so the first step if you want to increase profit in your smoothie business is to sell things that are similar to your business you will see somebody selling coke that same person is selling pure water that same person is selling bottled water that same person is selling canned soft drinks the person knows what he or she is doing <laughs> This is to make sure that if you're looking for anything drinks you don't need to go to another place you will get everything where you are this also applies to smoothie business if you're serious with your smoothie business try as much as possible to also start a juice business alongside aside from this try as much as possible to sell other drinks like bottled water so that anyone that wants to buy smoothie or anyone that cannot buy smoothie maybe probably your smoothie is finished a person can go for juice and anybody that either buys smoothie or juice can go for water now the second way of increasing profits in smoothie business is to buy your fruit wholesale for example if you're buying your fruit if for example you are buying your fruit at a nearby market and it's costing you about 15,000 if you go to a wholesale market you might buy that same quantity of fruit for 7,000 half the price so that's another thing you should consider and lastly you can increase profit in your smoothie business by selling smoothies at parties birthdays and concerts so how much should you charge for smoothie i would say there are so many factors to determine how much you'll be charging for your smoothie you need to factor in your cost of production you need to factor in the cost of packaging are you using recycled plastics or are you getting new plastics are you using a sticker on those plastics are you having a big plastic or a small plastic all these things determine how much you would sell your smoothie but i will also say you shouldn't overprice your smoothie so that you will not deter your customers if you have any questions or there are some parts in this video you don't understand kindly drop a comment for me and i will respond to you asap Thank you guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.